This galaxy has 22 empires representing countries that had influence in World War II. They'd been themed by Senor Vane, and we're going to see how different the history of World War II could have been if it was fought in space. There are going to be plenty of cursed results, and we're going to see if these powers will band together to fight the three times crisis, or will they just all murder each other? Then we'll see who the score victor is 200 years into the game. You can check the description for more details and information, and you can join the Discord for the Empire files, as well as the save files. Now, let's get into it. Here is our galaxy. Now, the first thing I want to do, check on Poland. Okay, they are safe for now. Poor Poland, getting bullied always in history. So we do have the German Reich here next to the Kingdom of Italy, who has started as an advanced spawn. German Reich, of course, a fanatic xenophobe militarist, Singish Admiralty, fanatic purifiers, clone army. I was sent this empire file about a year ago and I actually did a video playing it, but I thought since we're simulating galaxies, we can have a go. Thanks to Senor Vane for sending them over. Now all these empires are just going to expand. We also have Italy here. They do not have the incompetence civic. <laughs> They are actually a rogue servitor, rapid rep clear remnants, which is interesting. Kingdom of Norway over here, also an advanced spawn. They're fanatic authoritarian, xenophobe, mining guild, boss of a king, subterranean. They're just going to dig holes and try not to die. Five years into the future, everyone is spreading out. We do have fallen empires so funny enough we do have canada and usa next to each other in Can canada's north some things always stay the same canada is fanatic xenophile materialist environmentalist meritocracy prosperous unification they're just building up i think they've met usa we'll see how that first contact goes united states are xenophile fanatic materialist overtune megacorp so they should be friends they should the kingdom of italy is getting close to germany the issue with this is they could just um murder each other but Maybe Italy's incompetence shines through into Solaris. We'll just have to wait and see. We're now 10 years into the future. There are no wars going on, but we have had Kingdom of Norway and Libya actually meet up here. Libya are authoritarian xenophobe militarists. They're on the shoulders of giants, shadow council, merchant guilds. And they've actually found Seoul, which they're um looking to invade, I think. <laughs> Well, is early space age. Um, this is not cursed at all. Canada and USA are now touching borders. They have not met each other yet, though. And we have Spain and USSR up in this corner. We'll see how big the USSR gets. They love their space, as you know. And Germany is getting close to the British Empire, who are mega court authoritarian xenophile militarists next to Denmark, who are fanatic egalitarian pacifist doomsday. <laughs> I guess there is a ticking time bomb me being that close to Germany. 15 years and the galaxy is still at peace. Kingdom of Italy are getting massive. And we actually have a big blob in Switzerland here. They have hit borders with Spain and they're in an aggressive war here. Why is Switzerland not pass? Why are they not pacifists? Okay. Egalitarian xenophobe militarist megacorps. That's interesting. Spain authoritarian xenophobe militarist slaver guilds police state post spot apocalyptic. I guess, I guess the post apocalyptic is because of the civil war but and the rest I guess you could say make some sense but I'm not here to critique the empires. I'm here to see how it plays out. We also do have Republic of China coming in between France and America. It's not something I ever thought I'd say. Post apocalyptic China with relentless industrious masterful crafters. Yes yes. But now 20 years in we are actually have our first war here. Kingdom of Norway and advanced start AI are murdering Libya. Unfortunately for them, they might be the first downfall. It is for a vassal though. There's no way the AI don't win this. They have Corvettes, but they just have sheer numbers. They're trash, but sheer numbers. Canada and the US have met now. Um, they're improving relations. They got migration trees. They got defensive pack. They got commercial pack. This is very interesting. And they've even got branch offices set up in Canada. Also, while well with the, uh, the commercial forum, this could be a great relationship. And Canada are just going as north as they possibly can, which I'm not surprised, to be honest. It's in their blood. And the German Reich still haven't found anyone. They have 11,000 in fleet power, which is more than Norway. They have more. They weren't an advanced start, remember. But they're just building up for war, which um, it's good they're doing that, considering it's a World War II simulator. They were the, the, the cause of that, you know. Um, 25 years in, Kingdom of Norway have vassalized Libya. That is cursed, but it happened. German Reich 
are at war with Finland. But Finland are heavy dragons. They have a dragon. You can't kill them this early. Germany don't care. They're just doing a purification war. So this is going to go for a while. This could actually just destroy Germany because it's going to be very hard for them to peace out when they just have a dragon. And Ethiopia cannot stay out from wars. Instead of Italy, it is now Australia. And Ethiopia are actually the attackers. They are just trying to plunder as we've got overtuned barbaric despoilers with scavengers. They are actually killing Australia. They have way more fleets. And this could be a good day, mate. Japan are just kind of passively building up here. They're the lowest empire because they do not care about resources. They are just caring about military. They have a lot of ships. 155. They have a 310 naval cap. Whoever they find first is just going to die, which could be Latin America. I know, I know. There's an entire Latin America group to one, but next save, next save. Okay. The German Reich have just mowed through what they can, but the, the dragon still exists. They've got 100% war exhaustion, so it might just peace out automatically. But also, the Brits have touched borders, so this could not be good for Germany. China are also at war with Canada. They got invited. <laughs> this is good. China invited Canada to a war against India. Canada aren't really doing anything. Oh no, they are. Canada are in there. Canada don't care. This is just for humiliation though, so the war won't have much consequences on the borders. Ethiopia are annihilating Australia, but remember they're just plundering. They're stealing pops. As you can see, they are absolutely, they're just literally abducting from Sydney. I'm sorry. And I think they're just modifying their Australians. They are arid preference, agarian, charismatic, augmented intelligence. They've given Australians augmented intelligence. Then Ethiopians are oh, juiced power, technical talent, unruly, spliced adaptability and traditional. It's interesting that they're using the overtuned very early. I like that. We got more wars though. Denmark at war with Finland. <laughs> Denmark are taking Russia's role here. Are they the aggressors? Yeah, Denmark are the aggressors. They are destroying Finland. They've almost taken it all. But it's just to impose ideology. Denmark are pacifist, fanatic egalitarian, whereas Finland are xenophobe, militarist, spiritualist. So I guess it's, it's okay. They are Denmark are helping Germany here though. But that's uh not my fault. Empire of Japan at war with Latin America, as we predicted. Empire of Japan 15k, Latin America 7. I don't know where their fleets are though. What? Japan. Where are your fleet? Oh, they're here. I am blind. Everyone's basically just got corvettes. Literally base corvettes with tier 2 armor. They're just steamrolling through. Oh, Japan. Go oh, Latin America come from the, the east. But Japan are not going to respond to that? That's interesting. And Japan have just steamrolled their way through. They're taking planets. Oh, well, they have to bombard because... The AI do not produce enough transports to keep pushing through land, but Japan are going to be big. A fanatic xenophobe, militarist, fanatic purifiers, distinguished admiralty, necrophage. That is very strong. But Norway, they're against Ethiopia. They're trying to make another subject. Norway are getting huge and they're winning that war. Another vassal for Norway will make them a, a massive power, which is a bit weird to say. Russia at war with Spain. This is just for vassalization. I guess USSR are intervening in their civil war. The USSR are overtuned five one mind natural neural net network. They're just going for lots of pops. A lot of the other wars have chilled. Australia and the Ethiopian war have kind of stalemated, but Ethiopia owns a lot of the land, but with Norway coming in, Ethiopia's attention's turning elsewhere. Germany is at peace for now. Uh, Finland got completely torn apart and Denmark also peace out with Finland. Finland are not in a good place. They have one planet. Still their capital though, Helsinki, but it does not look good for them. We we have the British Empire still just expanding. They are just becoming quite silently strong. Germany are in two wars. They're attacking the Kingdom of Greece. They're defending from Italy. Oh no. Italy, what are you doing? Germany do have 20k. Italy have 33. Rogue servitors are very strong. They're charging in right now. Germany's forces are in Greece. This could be very, very bad for Germany. Italy could just tear them apart. Poland, oh no. They're at war. They're attacking Australia though. Yeah, Australia have been getting bullied. I don't blame them. And Ethiopia have lost their war to Norway. Norway have two vassals. They're getting 30% of both of their resources, which is huge. Look at their economy. Oh my word. USSR and Spain are still going head to head. It looks like USSR might win, but the war exhaustion is very tight. They have 18k. Spain have 6.4. So they should win. And oh no, France. What are you doing? Kingdom of Egypt have joint forces with Norway and the vassal bloc to attack France. And Egypt are going to have France as a vassal. Oh dear. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. Embo Japan is still majoring Latin America. Not really a threat. They're both next to each other in terms of power, but Japan have almost three times fleet power, and they're just bombing um, Central America here. Panama. Well, Dacher spawned. Did they invade? What are they doing? We just have a new empire here. <laughs> okay. We're now 45 years, and can you see the German Reich? Uh, yeah. They have gotten annihilated by Italy. Italy? Fed up with you all calling them incompetent in World War II. They've just almost murdered the German Reich. The German Reich are literally pretty much dead. They just have a lot of Greeks here, but they got too greedy and got backstabbed by the Italians. Norway and Egypt are winning against France, so France will be a vassal under Egypt, which is incredibly cursed. And the USA are fighting China. Now this, more or less, not in World War II, but more, more real time. The USA did attack China, and this is to make them a vassal. So the Americans could have China as a vassal. That's hilarious. Poland, Australia fight is still going. Um, they can't get the final planet, so they're just kind of in stalemate. And Switzerland are now killing Spain. Yup. USSR won their war. I think it was just for a few claims. They're just trying to be a massive snake. Not surprised. And we'll move on to year 50, a quarter of the way to our end goal. And we'll take a look at the victory screen here. We have to go as an empire, which is really annoying. So the fallen empires are first and second. Then, of course, Norway third, America fourth. I don't know who's fifth. Egypt sixth. Italy's fifth. Not bad then. Italy are getting planet revolts on Berlin, of course. I mean, yeah. They have bio trophies. They have German bio trophies. And they're not building the bio trophy building. So they might get a revolt here. Norway just cannot stay out of wars. They're killing Australia. Oh, this is so border gory. Poland, Australian. We have a rebel. Australia had a rebel. <laughs> the Pogovian Confederation popped out of Australia. Okay, this is just case. I don't want to look at this side of the map anymore. So now Switzerland are defending against Japan. Oh dear. Switzerland have 14,000. Japan have 43. Oh my word. Yeah, they're trying to save their capital. They have destroyers, fusion missiles, twos. Not looking good. Japan have gone supremacy, prosperity, domination. Supremacy first very much helps them. Egypt are in two wars, actually. They're defending against Poland and Libya. Libya have started murdering. Wait, what? Vassal network wars are so weird. Yeah. yeah Australia are probably just going to die. But they're kind of saved by... Oh, no. Poland. Ah, Poland made all of this space their vassal because they couldn't finish off the war. Okay, we understand. It wasn't a rebellion. 55 years in, it's still cursed over here, I bet. Yeah. Kingdom of Norway are just trying to vassal Australia still, but they can't get to them. Italy are fighting the German confederated nations. Is this a... a yeah, they, they, they rebel. Germany rebelled. This is so cursed. USSR back at war with Spain. Now they're trying to vassalize Spain, but Spain are getting murdered. Oh, they had been murdered. Japan have pieced out, but they just took lots of them. Did they? What is going on? There's a Sp Spaniard compact now, what? which, oh, Switzerland. Okay. Switzerland were at war with Spain. Didn't finish them off, so made a sector vassal. Japan is now killing Switzerland, so they're taking parts of that vassal, or not even part of the vassal. No, they're, they're not at war with the bus, they're just at war with Switzerland. If Switzerland die, then the Spaniard compact just become a whole entire entity. Oh, God. This is our map. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah. Britain have made Denmark a vassal too, I believe. Yeah. Denmark are Britain's vassal and China are <laughs> American vassals. No. USA just peaced out. Okay, what? Wait, Canada are now Scalarium under the United States of America. What is going on? And India are just fine. Okay. Pissed. A whopping 60 years in the map. Still cursed. Kingdom of Egypt have vassalized France. USA are at war with India. <laughs> the US Indian subsidiary acquisition. They're going to be fighting through Canada's border here. Yeah. Italy is struggling to clean up the Germans' rebellion here. <laughs> of course. Maybe they are incompetent. And we actually have a semi peace time. Well, the British have just sat in that corner, expanding, taking what it doesn't belong to them, and growing, becoming strong. They're 35k void dwellers, so they could just literally spam out. Oh my gosh. There's, there's a few planets. They only have one branch office in Denmark, making them some money. 65 years. Uses are still at war with Spain. Italy, still cleaning up. They will probably clean this up, but it's just taking them a bit. Japan, they're now at war with Greece. They're also at war with Switzerland because they guarantee Greece's independence, and Spaniard Compact are Switzerland's 
Basel. They have a multi-front war here up in the north and the east. It'll be interesting to see how the AI actually deal with that. China are attacking India for conquest while the USA... What did they do? Did they peace out of this war? Like, they were vassalizing them. I don't know. The USA are doing weird things. The map is coming along. You're seeing the blocks of power. And we do have the galactic community formed with the United States of America on top. Democracy. They're trying to form the galactic council. Norway have been quiet for a bit. 70 years in. They are so strong. They even have habitats now. They're at war with China. Oh, China. China's just getting oh gosh they're getting annihilated norway are becoming the biggest threat here egypt also fighting china japan are winning their war here against greece switzerland and spain but not this spain the other spain they're just plowing through japan also going to be a big problem for everyone they have 132,000 power the most in the galaxy and india are just dying it looks like italy have cleaned up the germans germany are no longer in the game <laughs> A first elimination. That's hilarious. But it's going to happen when you're a genocidal empire. 75 years in, USA have declared a war. Is it a fake war? I don't know. They are trying to deal with Japan. They have teamed up with Italy to do a multi-front war. This is incredibly smart. Italy from the south, USA from the top. Maybe we've got the Japan that helped the allies in this game rather than the, uh, the Axis power Mussolini version. Poland at war. They are attacking Egypt and France. Do I uh, impose ideology? They are winning. They have 130k, that's insane. USA 150, Norway 154, Japan only 110. Japan could be in danger. And again, the Brits sipping their tea in the in the south. They do not care. Tech rushing, 2k tech. Are they going psionic? Who knows? They've got an expansion diplomacy, mercantile discovery, all the resource-based buffs. They have gone diplomacy. I'm surprised they haven't got federation or we've not seen any yet. Maybe we'll see it in year 80. And we do not, but the Brits are at war with Italy. So Italy and the USA were trying to deal with Japan, but now the Brits have just gone to war. <laughs> oh no. With Italy, and they have Denmark as a bulwark. The US are trying to deal with Japan, but Japan have pushed back out. I think the Brits have messed this up royally. They do have a gateway. They can connect to Italy down here. They're not helping Italy. This is a mess of walls. Norway, with the help of Spain. Spain. Spain have invited Norway to hurt Japan. Japan are in wars against Spain, Norway, Greece, Switzerland, Spain, Italy, and US. Oh dear, Japan. This is not good for you. Meanwhile, Poland are just bullying Egypt and France. I am a big idiot and didn't make a save at 85, but we have one at 90. Here we are at 90, and Japan have been shrunk down to size massively, mainly by Italy. The USA are getting it. quite bullied here. The Brits finished their war against Italy, just took a bit of land. Probably cause enough chaos. The USA are small, but they have 240,000 fleet power. That's insane. Look at their resources. They are going, <laughs> they've gone synthetic evolution and have Xena compatibility. They're going down synthetics now too. They just want to breed with everything and everyone and everything. They're still in the war with Italy against Japan and so are Norway. I think they're just struggling to take the planets here. They're just bombarding. And obviously, Japan are a fanatic purifier, so they're not going to like give up their planets. So you need try transports to take them but they're not sending any transports. Latin America have also declared war in Japan. Everyone's banding together even though they haven't put for a crisis declaration on them. Probably would have been easier you'll get open borders. They are trying to form a galactic council which will have the USA, Poland and Norway on. <laughs> Maybe the Brits if they up their power a bit. Oh I hate this. I hate this so much. This, the border goal is disgusting but we have seen our first federation the galactic compact with Poland and the USA involved. They have no no cohesion because neither of them have put a leader in. Be interested to see if they ever do or if it's bugged. Galactic unions are basically like big friendly people. They want friends of each other. Italy have now defending against Japan on their own. The USA are no longer in this war. They do have almost 300,000 power along with Poland. So to combine they have 600,000 power. That's mental. USA are oh, have 240k. They're just building up as well. And the British Empire don't care about their navy for the first time in history. And they're happy just to sit here with 4k science and just chill. Latin America do have 100k. They are still fighting Japan. I yeah, Japan ain't looking pretty hot here. They have 10k fleet power. They have just basically been bullied, but they it was deserved. Um, they went fanatic purifying and they they had the consequences. It's year 100. Let's have a look at the victory screen. We're not going to get the fallen empire, but Kingdom of Norway is in second. Third, I'm pretty sure is Dacia. 
someone i don't know another fallen empire yeah fourth we have the usa fifth britain italy poland ussr egypt and canada in the top 10 norway's still a murder and japan's still a dying they have zero fleets it's literally just their planets getting bombarded send transports this is the biggest annoyance i've had right now these simulating games none of them send enough transports egypt france and india are killing libya <laughs> all right i'm surprised like norway's just letting people bully libya this much but i don't think they care enough okay we've jumped another 10 years into the future galactic community is formed with usa poland and the brits did make it on there but they're falling very far behind of norway who didn't get on there they have 575,000. oh my gosh i mean i say that poland and usa have over a million power combined here this is mental look how many fleets they have they're all like mixed fleets of random trash designs but they're fleets nonetheless and italy glad one of the hungry japanese collective so it looks like japan are getting rebellions people are gonna clean them up egypt's bullying libya oh they just peaced out libya is it libya is alive and well china's now a vassal under italy i don't know how that happened and then we have a random enlightened kingdom of oh norway went to war with uh, china vassaled this block rest of china got subjugated this galaxy is coming to a peaceful head but we know there's going to be a crisis soon that's going to mix this up so we'll see what arises when that spawns 120 years in the british empire in the south here have decided to join a war with finland and denmark to go to war with italy and china finland oh, they're just going to wreck through italy british empire have 300k italy have 68 they've gone annihilated oh dear and it's a conquer war goal but they don't have many claims on Italy, so they will actually be fine. Just a little setback. Norway almost up to a million power. They're attacking Egypt and France. They have two bulwarks. Libya and what was China. Egypt and France have not fared well in this simulation. And the USA are killing a fallen empire. What? They're defending a humiliation war. USA, Latin America, Poland, and the Pogovon Confederacy. And they're winning? <laughs> they're beating the fallen empire. Oh my. USA! USA! But we do have Canada in the north, United States in the middle, and Latin America in the south. We have some resemblance to real life here. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe and like. It helps out a bunch. If you made it this far, you're probably enjoying it, or you're a psychopath. At 50k subs, I'm going to try to stream until I get the Galatron for the achievement series. So, subscribe so I just suffer. <laughs> Britain, 10 years into the future, still winning this war. But China and Spain are now in this? Oh my. A huge, huge war. Norway and their vassals are fighting Poland. Well, defending against Poland and the Basel and Federation. Poland, USA, Canada, Latin America, all in a federation. Poland are getting a bit steamrolled. But Norway are losing power here. The USA did take out the Fallen Empire, but the Unbidden have also spawned within them. So we have all chaos now. The Unbidden, Norway are coming through this wormhole. USA don't have the tech. Oh dear. Norway are just ripping through them, but USA are going through the north of them. There are so many fronts and so many different empires involved here. It was every empire is at war at least they're trying to vote and regulate got growth um they probably won't deal with this crisis but we will see they're just infighting amongst themselves and the results it's very much straight away from uh, real life history the unbidden are actually being dealt with here the kingdom of norway have killed nothing maybe they're not being dealt with they're just being ignored barely any fleets have been murdered norway is winning this war by a big ton here the usa of 1.5 million fleet they're just not defending themselves they've just gone on the offensive where are their fleets why are they in egypt what is going on this is this is a bit insane there are so many fleets the unbidden have five million yeah the unbidden are just spreading through wormholes with each individual fleet being 243k it's it's beatable but the ai just don't death stack the unbidden are just help it italy have just gotten bullied they kill germany for everyone and then they're just the battleground in the middle here of course the victory screen the full vampire doesn't exist anymore. Norway is in the lead with USA in second, USSR third, British Empire fourth, Poland, Canada, oh, an awakened empire, fallen empire, Italy, India. Who's going to take that top 10? We'll have to see. We have 50 years left. It's going to be tight. Jumping just five years into the future. Brits no longer at war, but they are getting their fleets killed like we're seeing here by the Unbidden. The Unbidden are down to 3.3. I'm not sure who's killing them, but someone is. It 
Are the British do have fleet up here. I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> Norway is still in their war though, but so even. I think the Unbidden have just run into Norway who are killing the Americans. So the Unbidden are actually helping USA. Yeah, there's all these fleets. Oh, the US are up here. What is going on? There's a toxic god as well that has spawned. <laughs> oh dear. This is just absolute chaos. Yeah, the Unbidden are down to 2.3, so somebody is murdering them. I can't quite see where, but it's happening. Yeah, the British are cleaning up star bases as well. What are you running, my British friends? Matter disintegrators. The weapons deal multiplicative damage based on the 10% of the target ship site. Okay. How do they have unbidden fleets? I'm so... Oh, they, did they spawn it using the discoveries? What? How have they done this? Yes, they've spawned unbidden fleets and I happen to just find them. But it looks like they're using them for the greater good. It looks like they're going to be able to deal with the unbidden. I'm jumping five years just in the future. The unbidden basically no longer exist. Six 629,000 fleet power left. Just trapped over here with no dimensional anchors. We can actually look at the victory screen. As I believe that shows how many crisis ships were killed. The Americans got 760. Norway only 30. Poland 590. British 430. USSR did so much. 1,200. Italy 90. We had the Awakened Empire 1,200. Canada 300. Egypt 100. So it was mainly USSR. They threw their bodies at the Unbidden. They've not really done too much. They've just sat up here. The Unbidden are dead. And there's four years left to find a winner. We're Norway very much in the start. USA and them had a little fight, but not much has changed. I'm fairly sure nothing changed. It was a complete stalemate. However, the Federation has definitely grown. You've got Poland, Canada, USA American, Latin America, Abertin Unified World, Citizen Commonwealth, and the Obivian Hive. So a lot of broken off empires. And the Galactic Community, they're not really doing much. They tried to focus the Unbidden, but America said no. They've burned down everything. On the council is the USA, Norway, and Poland. British no longer there. They've kind of just fallen off completely. They're also in breach because they don't have military readiness act. That's probably because they got lots of their stuff murdered. Another 10 years and the Earl Gate has been opened. USSR are firmly poised to take more land, but the Awakened Empire are the ones actually going through it. I believe it. Oh, it's the Great Tempest. They got the Great Tempest. Probably easy to deal with if they can deal with the Unbidden. The Unbidden are still alive, but they don't matter. They have only 350 case strength. There are literally no wars. We have peace for the first time in 150 years and a custodian is being nominated in Norway. If Norway can get the nomination of custodian, it could see them finish first. However, the USA are very close to them. 20 years to go. The Awakened Empire is just going a bit of ham with expansion and there's still no wars. We truly have reached peace and it's this disgusting border go map. We've got Italy inside Finland, Canada inside Italy, USSR inside Italy. It's it's, it's disgusting. British Empire top in terms of economical power. They are going insane. Eleven thousand signs. Look, oh my gosh! Look how many habitats they have. This is disgusting. This is so bad. Oh my gosh! They have thirty-two branch offices, which is obviously going to help them a bit. And Finland has now entered their Danish brothers as a vassal for the British Empire. We could see them sneak up into the victory, but we're not going to look until two hundred years into the game. Ten years remain for the final empires to make their moves. We've got wars. USSR completely destroying Spain with the Swiss Galactic Hegemony and India who are their vassals. They're trying to vassalize Spain. That's a good grab for some score. And they're also conquering. Oh no, they're defending against a fallen empire. Oh dear. That could slow them down. This fallen empire does not have much though. It's the one that the USA was bullying. Italy, however, have joined the Galactic Compact. And they're also attacking Spain. So everyone's trying to grab some of that Spanish land. <laughs> they're just getting bullied. Oh, Spain. They have 120k. They're not going to survive. Let's actually look at the Galactic Compact because it's grown. We've got Egypt, Italy, China, Switzerland, Greece, France, Spain. Wait, there's two different federations that are called Galactic Compact. Yes, that's just a new federation. And then we have the USA one, which is almost level four. They'll get more damage than game crisis, even though they've already killed it. Yeah, they have bitten the fully dead. It's time to find the final winner. So here we are 200 years in. We have a lot of wars going on. Let's have one last look at the galaxy before we look at the score. Norway, we're at war with the USA's Federation and the Awaken Empire. They could have, they might have been saved because the game ends here and these wars haven't finished. And Spain just got ripped apart. I think the USSR is 
still at war with them? Yeah, they've taken as much as they can, but they can't win. And they all made a last bid play to try and stop Norway, but did it work? 10th place and work our way up. You can look at the other 20 here. But in 10th place, we have Latin America who's surprising us. They got bullied very early on. They made a good comeback. They made a pact with Canada and USA. 9th place, yeah, the Unified Worlds, which is... Archer doesn't really count. Canada also paired with Latin America, United States. They kind of went to war with India and China a bunch and just helped the USA. Then we have Seventh Kingdom of Italy. Honorable prize to them for taking out Germany early before Germany went absolutely crazy, but then they kind of got completely bullied. I mean, look at their space. It's Britain just bullied them and that's it. That's all Britain did all, all game. Six, Egypt, surprisingly. They kind of just chilled, expanded a little bit. They got a lot of points for being in a federation. That's where the bulk of that points are actually come from fifth place the ussr they were not in a federation if they joined a federation how many did they get for a federation Seventeen thousand. they could be up there they might have won if they were in a federation british empire also not in a federation but a bunch of subject empires giving them thirty-seven thousand. ussr are getting twenty-three thousand. third poland a bunch for being in a federation i believe because they're level four this is a good redemption up for them always bullied in history. I think they take good ones. Now, the top two. I believe it's probably between the United States of America and Norway. Who's going to get there in second? With 400 points more than Poland is the United States of America. A bunch from the Federation. They did a reasonable amount to the crisis. Lots of subject points. Ops, tech, economic strength. But it was not enough to beat Norway, who have almost about 20,000 more score. Would have this war have changed anything? Who knows? But we won't know. Is this this game is so laggy. They had none from Federation, 30 crisis ship kills, 6,000 from relics, and 63,000 from subject empires. The allies and axis were... <laughs> I don't even know what happened really here. There wasn't really a winner between them. Slaris is encoded to uh, really support that, but it was a fun, interesting look at these custom-made empires. It shows they can take on three times crisis if you've got kind of meta ships going on. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me play the game and suffer, I'm trying to get every achievement. Click here to watch all the late game ones, and I'm sure nothing goes wrong at all. I'm sure it doesn't. <laughs>